Good morning and welcome to Tivoli Gardens here in Copenhagen. We've just popped over to Denmark to visit this park. It's a beautiful place. My name's Matt, this is the Coaster Giant channel and here is what's coming up in today's vlog. So we've headed straight in through the main entrance and then straight over to the left where you pick up your wristbands and this will give us all day unlimited riding. So Tivoli Gardens is a theme park right in the centre of Copenhagen. It's not fully gated so you can pay to come in and just walk around the gardens and there's an upcharge that works out at about £30 um, to get an unlimited ride pass and the park's open from 11 o'clock this morning until midnight tonight which is just mad. So our plan for today is to get some rides in, then get to the hotel where we're staying tonight, check in, chill out for a bit, and then come back when it's dark and everything's lit up. Oh my God, yeah, this ride. I didn't realize that was here. We've just spotted this flat ride that looks absolutely mad. Yeah, I didn't realize. I don't know an awful lot about this park. I have seen vlogs in the past, but not taken a lot of notice of them, and I've not done any research since booking the trip, so I'm quite excited. I'm here with Claire who has done an amazing job of booking this trip. So we've got quite a few parks planned over the next few days. We're going from Denmark to Sweden to Germany. So hopefully we'll get a few more vlogs after this one as well. Um, so yeah, we're just wandering around now, trying to work out the park and we'll decide what we're gonna go on next. So first up today, we've headed straight over to the back of the park and we're heading on to something that's gonna be a first for me. So only a little one. But there's a B&M flawless coaster here. So it's going to be totally new experience. I'm excited to try it out. And although the entrance of the park was really busy, this back area is really quiet. So hopefully we'll be walking straight on. Okay, let's get on. Demonin is how I think we say it. I'm excited for this. Like I said, it's my first ever flawless coaster. I was excited to ride it. I'm also really excited to see how it works in the station because obviously there is a floor when you get on and then it disappears. So um, yeah, interesting how that works. That 
was a lot of fun. Loved how the floor disappears into the station floor and how they've packed such... Well, how they've packed a B&M coaster into that little space is actually pretty incredible. Um, Claire pointed out you kind of come off the lift hill into a weird helix, which is just slow. And then you get into the main layout, so that's a bit weird. But it was a fun coaster, would you agree? Yes, I think it's very fun. Like, for the size of the layout, that is so good. <laughs> I would say it's not like top 10 material or anything, but it's, it's just a lot of fun. It's so good. It's a good, like, um, like first big coaster for somebody, isn't it? It's not, not a lot of force. There's a few little pops of airtime. Um, but yeah, so it's good. If, that was, if you're doing your first inverted coaster, that's definitely a good one to get out. Right, it's due to get a bit windy here later. So I think we're going to do some of the bigger rides first. We've got a drop tower. Let's show you around this bit because there's loads of tall stuff. There's a... I don't know if that's a shot and drop or a drop tower. And there's a really weird ride there. Which I'll show you when it's going. And we've got a magic carpet inverted ride. What are you fancying? I think we'll do the weird ride. Okay, we're going to do the weird ride. So this has got four different arms. It takes you up to the top and spins you around. Love these little guys, by the way. They're the height checker boards, dressed the same as the staff. So where are we gonna go? Can we do the wild version? <laughs> Let's do the wild version, <laughs> whatever that is. So I know one, like you face outwards. One, you're in a carriage, a lion, by the looks of it. I don't know if there's four different ones or what it is. Oh, there's two. Okay, so yeah, let's face outwards. Right, before the park gets busy, we're going to get the kiddie cred in. Just a really little coaster down at the corner of the park. That was a fun little coaster and we got five, five laps on it. It's really pretty the way it comes through all them blossom trees. It's really nice. Um, right now we're going on this all the way to the top. So I haven't actually looked at any stats on this. I don't know how tall it is but I have watched one cycle. It takes you up to the top slowly then drops you and then there's a bit of a bounce. So, it can't be any bigger than Ice Blaster Blackpool. Surely not. I've got this. So to be honest, that made me feel a bit queasy. Um, it's higher than it looks when you're up there. And yeah, we were on the outwards facing seat so when there's actually quite a lot of force to it so when you're rotating round and round it's really pushing you into your harness which is quite unsettling when you're that high up but it was good it was good and then we've done a few other rides we just did the drop tower which was surprisingly forceful so it was I would have thought that was going to be a shot and drop tower um, and I've only ever done them as shot and drop towers but um, it took you up to the top quite fast um, held you for a long time, which was great for views over the city. Um, but yeah, when it dropped, it really got me. Like, to the point that Claire's gone on a ride now and I've sat off because I just wanted to gather my thoughts for a minute. Because <laughs> um, it really got me, got me in my stomach and my head. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of force there. I don't know if it's just because it's early in the morning and because I'm a little bit hungry maybe. But um, yeah, definitely want to try out later. So we've just found this little fun house. What the hell are we doing? Whoa! Slide cred! Whoa. That just looks dangerous. Great bridge. This place is ridiculous. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Where? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> We've also met with Chris. Hi! 
My mum will hate this, she hates it when I move, when I'm vlogging. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this. Slide cred number two. <laughs> it's steep. <laughs> okay, she's off. Let's do this. Oh. Fail. So it's easy to miss that little fun house. It's right here, down this little alley. So next up we're going on Russia Barn, which translates to the roller coaster. This is, we think this is the oldest roller coaster in the world. <laughs> That's what we're going to go with. It's so old that it still has a brakesman on it as well. So you can see that seat in the middle. That's where the ride up sits and pulls that white lever to make us break. That's how old it is. That was a lot of fun. Um, they've done some retracking work on that as well. There's quite a lot of new wood as you go around the layout. It's so smooth. Um, we were sat right behind the brakesman and he, he didn't sit down the whole way around. He was stood up. Oh, it's a bit windy. He was stood up all the way and he was very theatrical in how he was doing his breaks. Oh, what is this? Oh, we've got a shoe dark ride. Everything we come across in this park, we're like, what is this? Like, we knew there's no like massive thrill coast or anything. We knew it was just a really pretty place and there's some quirky rides and um, it's living up to that reputation. Okay, whilst that was a cute dark ride in a little boat on water, a couple of little drops, a little um, turntable as well, which was unexpected, the guns on it were useless and it didn't actually work out where you see your score. It wasn't on the boat, there was no screens when you got off, um, but I'm not mad at that because I know I did absolutely useless. I was missing all the targets, it was very hard to do. So, my recommendation would be, I want to go on it again and just look at the theme in, instead of trying to concentrate on winning. So we just stopped and had a little beer, which, bearing in mind it's been quite a few hours since breakfast at 5am this morning at the airport, it's going to my head a little bit. And then we jumped on um, a fairy tale journey, which is a dark ride, it's in that building there. I actually go down steps so it's like underground. I get through the crowds, so it's like they're putting another train on. I think maybe it's been down for a little while and that whilst they're putting the train on, I'm guessing. So it was only on a one train this morning, now it's on two. Um yeah that fairy tale journey was just um a bit weird after a beer. I feel like that was a, a weird a weird dream. <laughs> Um, there was like several stories. The one thing to note that um, Lewis pointed out is there's a button on the roof so you can change it to English so you actually can make sense of what's going on, which was handy. I've got to admit, I'm a little bit in love with this park. It's absolutely beautiful. There's beautiful gardens, loads of water features. Everything's like got a lot of attention to detail and is kept really well, which is really good to see. We're just trying to find somewhere to eat now. There's also loads of places to eat, so there's loads to choose from. So we found somewhere for food, we've gone for a beer, another pint, um, and a meatball sandwich that comes with chips as well. It was £23 that it worked out at, but look where we get to sit, in this really quiet, tranquil bit of the park, in this, whoa, check, whoa, peak. that is what you call a salad. This is peak theme park food. This looks good. I and what drink have you gone so for? Good. A mango smash, so it's like some kind of fizzy soda. But it's pretty good quality. That looks good. This is theme park food, folks. And yeah, look where we're going to eat it. Take a seat. <laughs> it's a proper conservatory. 
actual plants. <laughs> I'm excited for this. Okay, when we left you last, it was a few hours ago, um, we were just eating and we had a very nice, very nice meatball sandwich with fries. And it was really good, loved that. Um, and then we went and checked into our private room hostel, which is actually really nice. I'll show you that when we get back later. Um, and as soon as we were up at 3 a.m. and it was then 4 p.m., we decided to have a little nap. So if I look a bit tired, because I've just been asleep for two hours, I'm just waking up. Well, we're heading back in. You can probably see behind me, we're literally walking on a city street and you can see a big b and behind us. It's a ridiculous view and thing to see. But really cool as well. So the park is literally, this is the city, that's the park behind all these walls. It's open till midnight tonight. The lights are all coming on now. So I think it's gonna be a totally different vibe in the park. So we're gonna get back in, get on all the roller coasters again and get on some of the flat rides that we missed this morning. Okay, we're going on the Milky Way Express. Can't pronounce that. This is just a nice little powered coaster. This place is really starting to come alive now. <laughs> it's so pretty with all the lights on. And what I like about it, because they're like obviously quite short on space, it's just a little park in the middle of a city. They like build the rides up high, so like there's got an air race up there, but then underneath they've got another attraction and some amusements. Oh yeah, look at this. There's just every lot, every ride has got lights on. Every bit of pathway has got lights on. It's absolutely stunning. There's loads of little buildings and little shops. And check out this sweet shop. Okay, I just want to buy everything in here. <laughs> Detail on everything in this place, like nothing I film will do it just this. It's all so nice. Every every building, shop, ride, flat ride, it's all totally themed. I love it. That coaster gets better and better throughout the day. It's definitely warming up now. Do you think that's, would you say that's warming up throughout the day? We had, uh, what was it, row three? Row three, I think, that one. And it's definitely better on the back, but it's still so much fun. Yeah, it's getting fast. I think maybe another ride later when it's really dark. It's really good with all the lights. And uh, it's just a weird, it's just so weird seeing such a little B&M. The track and the transitions are really tight and swooshy. Um, yeah, it's an interesting coaster, I like it. Okay, we're now heading. We've got 40 minutes to get to the other side of the park, so we've got plenty of time. But there's a scare maze. Haven't done one of these for a while. Um, it's included on our wristband that we brought. Um, we got a premium option wristband, which means we get a few extras like the scare maze. Um, we get a free game to win one of them massive bars of chocolate. We'll show you that if we do it later. Um, so yeah, we're gonna get over there and get on this scare maze. I feel a bit nervous about doing one in a different country. Obviously last year, if you watch the channel, you'll know I did Scare Mazes for the first time, but I feel like this could be next level and a totally different ball game. Okay, we've made it. Look how cold this building is. I can't see a single bulb that isn't working, which is very impressive. So inside here is a Scare Maze, and that's all I know. Claire. I wouldn't have even known it was here. Claire's very excited for this. I'm so excited. I mean, I'm not going to be excited afterwards. I'm not ready. It's April. I've not done anything <laughs> spooky since, well, since Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, literally haven't got a clue. So who knows how we're going to come out of this. It is weird. We're in this beautiful park, soaking up the vibes. And now we're going to do a scare maze. 
Here's a little taster. It looks like you go through in a chain. Oh, I'm not ready for this. That was actually really good. It wasn't really a scare maze, it was more of a walk through scare attraction. There were a few actors in there, but not many. Probably two or three actors. Um, and all but one you could see come in, so it wasn't massive jump, jump scares, but the sets in there were incredible. Obviously you're in that big old building behind us. Um, so it's quite authentic the way you're walking through different rooms and things. But the sets they'd put in them rooms were really good. Um, there was an explosion at one point which scared the life out of me. That was the biggest jump scare. Um, but overall it was just very creepy. There's some really good tricks in there. Um, I, I really enjoyed that actually. I'm glad we did it. Um, but yeah, it's not like... Well, today it wasn't intense scares. It was a very enjoyable walkthrough. Okay, we're just trying to get clever now. It's just gone half eight and some of the family rides show at half nine so they do like a staggered closing, which makes sense because there's not going to be many kids on park at half nine. Oh, I look, I'm going to be some funny colours in this video. There's lights everywhere. Um, oh, that looks so good. Um, so yeah, we're going to try and bash out a few of the family rides that we want to do, starting with... Claire, what is this ride called? So we're going to do that. <laughs> um, we're going to do the other cars. So we're not going to do the facing out this time. We're going to do the ones where you sit inside. Is, what, what do you sit inside on this? One of them like lion animal things. So yeah, let's give it a go. Just look at everything. Every bit of lighting is themed. All the gardens, all the fences. This. It's just, it's like blowing my mind how pretty this place is. Right, let's get back on this. Hopefully, sitting in the animals won't be as intense. And isn't gonna feel like I'm being, gonna be thrown across the city. So there's the city. And here's the park. So with the wristband system, got a little chip in them. So every single ride you have to scan onto really easily. Thanks. Claire's getting an antelope. I'm going to get a lion then. Um, but yeah, take note Blackpool. Even though you have to scan onto every ride here. You might wristband or buy tickets. So you have to scan onto every ride, but you get a wristband and it's dead easy. Okay, we're going to do the camel trail again. It looks even prettier with all the lights amongst the blossom trees. It's so pretty. Today, check this out. It's all so pretty. Right, we are now going to head on to this little big wheel that's like you've seen a little balloon. I've got a feeling this is one of them things that you're going to get on and it's going to be higher than you think. What's this? It's just like... What the hell is that? I don't think you can even see it on the camera. Oh, this is good. This had a massive queue earlier and now it hasn't. So let's get on this. Again, not a single bulb out. I'm obsessed with finding a bulb that's blown. <laughs> that little dining area that's all red and warm looking looks really cool. I think that's the place that we went earlier and we were like, this is too much. This is too much for us. <laughs> The queues haven't actually built up all day, which is surprising.
<laughs> okay, this is one of the games that we get a free go on, but we haven't got a clue what to do. Let's find out. Me. Okay. Oh, okay. So you have to pick a number. So I'm going to see if my favourite number's got a good prize on it. Uh, chewy sweets. Are you going for table orange as well? I'm going to go for 28. Okay. So, all we need is for one of the bikes to stop in front of our numbers. Look at his little legs. <laughs> his legs are making it happen. Is it going to stop? <laughs> it's slowing down. <gasps> <laughs> oh my god! We have a winner. We have a winner. So I also swapped my prize because I wasn't actually sure what I won. So, got a massive table room. Do you reckon we'll finish this before we go home, Claire? I think we'll breakfast. <laughs> well, that was incredibly lucky. Oh, look at this place now, it's dark. There's lights on everything. Whoever owns this park has like put so much care and attention into it. I'm just like, <laughs> my mouth's just constantly open, like, I absolutely love it. They got it open. These are the coolest vintage cars I've ever seen. And the smallest. As well as all the main food outlets, they have got some branded stuff as well. They've got a juice bar and they've got a Wagamama's at the, in the park. The vintage cars have made my day, I loved that. Hopefully got the ride photo as well, in, including the passes that we brought, the wristbands. Um, we got unlimited ride photos as well, so I'll hopefully be dropping them in throughout the vlog. Or I'll put them in at the end. But now the time has come. I am a bit nervous about this one. So this is Tic Tac. I've never seen anything like this before. So rotate, anti-clockwise, and then each two-seater car flips forward and backwards, inverting. It just looks crazy. And I don't want this to be my famous last words, but I've struggled a bit today because I've been tired, really tired. And my head's been a bit fuzzy. But I've had some paracetamol, I've had some quells, travel sickness tablets, I've had some caffeine and some sugar, and now I'm ready to give it a go. But also very conscious that this could be the last ride of the day for me. So I think Tic Tac is really good. We got a few full flips and then it held us upside down for a while. But then it kept going and going and going. Everything's on a very, very long cycle here. But um, I loved that. It's proper like fairground vibes and fairground cycles, which is good, which is a good thing. Claire didn't do as well. <laughs> I am not okay. <laughs> Claire needs a, <laughs> needs a moment. And Lewis was on his own and was just constantly spinning the whole time. <laughs> so um, it's definitely a weight thing on that. So if you do go on on your own, you're probably going to get more flips. But I think the few that we got was just enough. The, the cars themselves are quite small as well. So my knees were right on the bar in front. So I'm probably going to have a few bruises in the morning because they already hurt. But I'm so glad I did that. I was really nervous about doing that and how it made me feel. But I feel absolutely fine. So, onwards to more rides. 
I love all these little details. Like, look at this little soldier holding the stair rails. Everything is so well thought through. I've definitely fallen in love with this place. It's one of them places like, if you're just into coasters, then it's probably not for you. <laughs> Whilst the coasters are good, they're nothing like majorly thrilling. But if you like a pretty park with amazing theming and a stunning atmosphere, like the atmosphere, the vibes, it's just so good, then um, this is definitely a park you should check out. Right, it's time for another ride on Russia Barn, the roller coaster. We wait till it's really dark so we get some great views. This is like, it was unexpected with like the indoor areas in this, like little dark ride sections. And now it's all going to be dark, but there's loads of pretty lights all the way around. So, yeah, I'm excited for this. I really wish I could take you on the rides. I did email the park and ask, but um, they said they don't allow on ride filming when they replied, so that was a bit of a shame. And with this, it's set into like this big mountain. So I can't even really get much footage of it going around. You can just see little bits of it all there. Yeah, and there's the brakesman in the middle. Just his job is just chilling on a roller coaster all day. How cool is that? Wow, this is a back row coaster. That was insane. So there's just, it's not even a lap bar, it's just a bar stopping you from coming out. They don't even remotely check on that. They don't, don't check anything, they just send the train. But yeah, back row, you literally just sat on a plank of wood, there's no padding. But, like we were flying out of our seats, like it felt like we were standing up. And then, as soon as the air time's over, you smash back down on the seat. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be bruised, I'm gonna have bruised knees, bruised bum, everything tomorrow. Um, but I don't mind because that, that was so much fun. And I wasn't expecting it, the ride earlier today was really tame. Um, well, so we're going straight back around and doing it again. Because it's got a tiny queue, which is probably one train's worth. And there's like three trains operating, so yeah, why not get a few re-rides? So as if putting a lighting package all the way around the coaster track wasn't enough. It flipping, the lights change and chase the trains. So watch how the track turns blue. This is insane. change back that is so cool so that was cool Claire mentioned that there was a little fountain display on the lake which turned into having smoke effects loads of lasers lights obviously fountains and fire like it was really cool I'll put some highlights in now <laughs> oh, whoa. The ducks are all going crazy. <laughs> that time oh, no, of day. No, no. <laughs> it's not the fire. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, it's finally time for monsooning, the inverted magic carpet. It's pretty rapid this does. Quite excited for this. That was so much fun. I love that. I want to see one of them in the UK. That would be a perfect fit for Drayton Manor. You know, in their new area to complement the new coaster. That would be awesome. It's a good family thrill ride. It got my stomach every single time as well. Every single time. And the water jets really added to it. Time for the drop tower in the dark. Again, with chasing lights. This is so cool. second go on the drop tower it was it was good I do like that drop tower and do you know what I put my hands up didn't feel scared well I did feel scared but I was felt safe enough to put my hands up so that was cool um, but as we were going up the church bells were chiming for 11 o'clock and it just felt really sinister like up there in the dark a little bit windy church bells chiming but we were fine we survived and then we've just had another go on demon we got a front row and now I totally, totally understand flawless coasters. Like it was again just one of them things that like never experienced before. Um, I was on the front left and I was just flying all over the place. The, the roll on that is crazy. Um, yeah, a lot of fun that coaster, it's really cool. Everything in this park is just fun, like really good fun rides. Um, so it's nearly half 11 now. I can't believe it's nearly midnight, I can't believe, I know we had a nap, so we cheated a little bit, but I can't believe we've lasted all day. I didn't expect that to happen. We haven't even eaten this afternoon, so we're going to try and find something to eat now at half eleven. So fingers crossed, somewhere's open. Just need a snack, a hot dog or some chips. Um, and then we'll check out the gift shop. So it's 11.30 and we finally got some tea. Got a different mug, some fries. <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> the weirdest hot dog I've ever seen. But it equates to £10, so I don't think that was too bad for theme park food. So I don't think I spoke about the Milky Way powered coaster after we went on it last time. We just had a night ride on it. We were on the front row as well. It's, it's a really fun coaster. I've said fun a lot today. But um, it's a lot faster than it looks. Um, and there's a nice little tunnel. Um, and it really whips you through the station. So yeah, that was a good, really good, probably one of the best powered coasts I've done. <clears throat> so now, it's quarter to twelve. Ooh, bright. And we're going on this gorgeous looking chair swing. Overlooking the fountains. And just everything else that's amazing around here. 
All right, let's get on. I cannot believe we made it to midnight. And do you know what? I could keep going. I could do more eyes. Claire couldn't. Claire's done. Claire is done. <laughs> It has been a very long day, but very enjoyable. This place, it's just got a feel of magic about it. It's really nice. It's, it's stunning. It's just got this charm about it that I've never experienced in a theme park before. Um, it's, yeah, it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And it's a great vibe as well. So yeah, it's been a very, very good day. I don't know what else to say other than it's great and I feel very happy and excited for the rest of the trip. So although we're leaving the park now, in a second I'll put some information in about where we're staying for this um, part of the trip. So we're actually in our hostel, um, but we have got a private room and a private bathroom, so it's basically a little hotel room. Um, so I'll put some of that in now. Here's where we're staying. So it's called Next House. It looks like a brand new building. And yeah, when I think of hostels, they don't look like this. But it's a really cool place. We're in a nice vibe. And one of the cheapest places we could find. There's a lot of rooms. <laughs> She looks really modern in here. There we go. Can't remember if we left it in a mess. Not too bad. I'm not doing full on room tour. But, so, it probably doesn't look that big on camera. We've basically got two bunk beds on each side. You've got a window, big mirror. <laughs> this and this is like, this is where I slept earlier. It's well comfy. With storage here. And then, the bathroom. This, it all looks pretty new. Got a big walk-in shower. Toilet and sink. I think, I'm not sure that we not shut the door again. <laughs> so I think, how much was this? Yeah, so I don't know if you heard that, but um, so this is £80 a night. It's our own private room. I wouldn't want to do it if there was strangers staying here, definitely not. It'd be weird having four people in here if you didn't know some of the other people. But um, yeah, so £80 a night, £40 each. is pretty much the cheapest you could find in this city because the hotels are really expensive. So we're nearly at the end of our day. How have you found it, Claire? So good. It's just up there with the best parks I've ever been to. Like almost on Disneyland level. It's incredible. It's yeah. When you said it was like Disneyland level, I was like, well, that's pretty <laughs> special. <laughs> it is pretty special. I just, I love it so much. Cool. It's been a lot of fun today. I'm proud of us for making it to midnight. <laughs> I think we've done really well. Um, but yeah, I'm well ready for sleep now. So if you stuck with us to the end of this vlog, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to give the video a like. And just uh, if you've got any questions about anything we, we've done today or where we're staying, drop them in the comments. Um, come and have a chat with me. Just ask me, ask away, ask anything you want. And don't forget to subscribe. Right, we're gonna get some sleep. We're up and staying in Copenhagen again tomorrow because we're gonna be going to Bakken, which is an amusement park about 20 minutes from here on the train. So we're not in any mad rush in the morning. So we're gonna have a lie in. Hopefully I will look a little bit fresher tomorrow when I've actually had a decent amount of sleep. Um, and yeah, there'll be another vlog from back in on the channel soon. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye.